What's good? What's good? Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is AL. This is F O M G T F. And we back and we back, back, back. I like to send shots out to all the subscribers, all the ones support the channel, the movement, the hustle, the whatever you want to call it. So, um, what we're doing is I want to talk to you guys about these printers. It's been a lot of people, and I want to say this research your best. It's always going to be trial and error. And that's just basically how it goes. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. So I can say that. You learn by, you know, being competitive. You learn by researching and doing something and seeing if it works or if it don't work. You know, so I'm saying this because we all try to get um, the information, try to get the best results from, you know, what we do and reach out to people if we have trouble problems with the printer or whatever the situation is right so I'll be getting a lot of calls and text messages and emails from people who have problems with their printers they're buying used printers on different uh, websites okay and they're trying to fix them themselves and it's a lot it's a headache and if the people want to do that, it's all fine. But if you watch my videos, I tell you guys that I only deal with certain type of printers. And I don't deal with desktop printers, but I still get a lot of people who ask me these questions about these desktop printers. And from my experience in dealing with desktop printers when I was, it was nothing but a headache because I wanted to do high volume prints for myself for other people. So with that said, you're gonna have to have an industrial size printer. If you wanna start off with an A3, A4 printer or whatever, that's perfectly fine. But if you have the finances and say, hey, what type of printer I need to get, I'm not trying to spend 10, 20, 30,000 for a printer, then you come talk to me and I will give you some information and say, hey, check this printer out, check that printer out. Okay, now we have these two type of different printers that's gonna fit your printing capabilities. So I always say whatever you're doing, what type of printing, whatever type of printing that you are doing, just make sure that you have the printer that can hold up to that. So uh, like I said, please watch my videos because people ask me questions and if I don't answer, that's because you don't watch the videos and I'm telling you, what I do and what I don't do. So go back and watch the video two, three, four, or every other day until you know you can figure out some information that you need to know. Because uh, I'm not here to ask people what print head can I put on this printer, what print head can I swap on that printer, or whatnot. You know, if people are trying to, you know, test the waters or say, hey, let me try to see if I can fix this printer, take this one, put this together, whatever. If you guys want to do that, then so be it. I don't recommend anybody doing that if they don't have the proper, proper knowledge to do that. I wouldn't want to try to play trial and error or guinea pig or what that or what not. Because it can be real, real costly. It can be real costly. I'm telling you, it's thousands of dollars that, you know, you be forking up hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. Let me say that right. And um, if some people are not in the financial situation to be able to put that much money up, to buy a printer or say hey um this one went out i need another one or can i fix this how much can it cost it can be variable that's why i really can't tell a person or put a finger directly on it it's going to be either this it's going to be that it's going to be this it's going to be variables let me blow this one down so it's kind of hot in here so i just want to uh be clear on that because I, it's kind of hard for me to tell people because i don't know what you're you know what you got I don't know how long you had your printer I don't know if you just got it I don't know if you just printed with it when you guys tell me hey I just got it or I had it for a while and then you tell me the history of how you was printing with it and it just stopped printing or maintenance or whatever it is it's gonna be it's hard to pinpoint the different type of things because with DTF it can get tricky so I want to say that and um what else uh Yes, yeah, that's basically about it. So just understanding what, you know, the capabilities are of your printer and the functions of it and what type of ink system, if it's 
uh, pressurized system or it's a gravity fed system you got to know these different things so when you plan around with DTF you know what you're getting yourself into because it can be a costly costly business so um, I've been telling people about the ink cartridges and what's the difference between having a cartridge a printer with cartridges or just having a printer when you just put the ink inside in the cart or, or in two little not too little but little ink slots that you just pour in there in each slot desktop printers those printers are not good for doing DTF because once you start having to make the printer and start agitating the white inks if you don't have an ink stir that's inside the printer if you don't have a bulk ink system or a continuous ink system if you don't have something that's outside of the printer that you actually can say hey this is separate from the printer these whites are separate with the separate from the colors then you're gonna have some issues with that down the line when it's time for you to start trying to agitate and shake the inks and do whatever you need to do to get the printer back up and going if you have any banding issues if you have any banding in the colors or banding in the whites or clogging in any colors or clogging in the whites or whatever the case may be it can be variables in this guys it's a lot of variables but I just want to say that but um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short I really not I really don't want to make this video too long but it's just so many things that I gotta uh, you know go over when I think about it and a lot of the um, information out here on youtube a lot of people they you know all over the place or maybe they deal with multiple products because they just want to give you reviews on different products they don't really deal with one particular thing or whatever the case may be i don't know i just deal with dtf so um if anybody trying sublimation hacks dtf hacks or whatever it is if you're not the actual dtf director fabric it's i mean the, uh yes uh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. If you're going for vibrancy, it's not going to work. If you're going for color transitions and color tones and fades and getting the right high quality image, if you're not doing DTF, it's not going to work for you. So, it all depends on what the look you're going for. So, that's the best thing I can say, but order DTF transfers from somebody who got good quality transfers if that's what you're going for don't try to do no DTF hacks uh, sublimation slash DTF hacks if you're not applying a heavy heavy white base then your uh, image is not going to come out vibrant it's not going to hold up in the washer it's not going to hold up with heat you know so that's the main thing but other than that guys go support the channel the channel will support you Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to go live uh, later on sometime this week. I'm going to be going live a lot. So it's better for me when I go live. I really don't like making videos. I like doing it live and that's it. But other than that, I try to put good content out when I can. And just pick my brain and see what I can talk about. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching FOMDTF. And we out.